Tell me what's going engine on, my friend. What size engine do we have? Uh, it's a six cylinder. So we got a four yeah. liter. That's all I needed to know. Okay. All right, tell me what's going on. Start the car and it shuts right back down, which is funny because I drove it recently without a problem. So it starts and stalls. And just shuts off, yes. And can you keep it running if you put your foot your foot put on the gas? It runs fine. So we just have a stalling condition here at idle. I gotcha. Have you checked for codes in the computer? Yes, I did. Well, I see the O2 thing is blinking and the cat is blinking. The cat? The AT. Could it be the, the check engine light or the, the mill light, the manufacturer indicator lamp? No, that's not on. So the, the vehicle doesn't have a cat light. There, there's no such thing. Oh, no, I'm talking on my um, scanner tool. Oh, I gotcha. I'm sorry. So you're, what you're looking at is the readiness monitors on your scanner. Yes. Don't worry about those. So those are just for emissions, right? So those aren't going to help yeah, us diagnose yeah, the problem. they're normally green, and it's just goes to a red. So don't worry about that. Other than that, there's no other problems with it. So it says no codes, correct? Yes. I gotcha. And have you replaced anything for this so far? No. There's no security light that's on or flashing on the dash? No. So the most likely cause for a stalling condition on this vehicle, as long as there's no air or vacuum leaks, I would suspect either a faulty throttle position sensor or that idle air control motor that's on the side of the throttle body. Side of the throttle body, right where the air box is? Yes, sir. Where is the sensor, though? So you have the C that's going to be bolted to the side of the throttle body. It should be a four-wire sensor. Oh, you mean into that metal thing that the yes, sir. exhaust thing goes into? Yep, the intake, yeah. There's two, two um, sensor things there. You have a TPS, and you you might even have, excuse me, a MAP sensor. It might be bolted to the throttle body. If not, it'll be on the intake. But the idle air control motor will be on the throttle body itself because it basically controls your idle. And the very first thing we do in the shop, if when we see this, we verify there's no vacuum leaks. So vacuum leaks can, can and will cause a stalling condition. So we rule out... Any vacuum leaks first, what we would do is we would actually smoke test the intake system using a smoke machine. And if there's no vacuum leaks, then at that point, I would make sure that throttle position sensor is reading correctly. And if that checks out good, I would replace that IAC motor or the IAC valve. If I disconnect those wires, that remove the problem right now? Disconnect what wires? To the sensors. To which sensor? All of them? The, 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 there's two at the um, intake. There's one on a gray with a round and a round spear, and the other one is a uh, rectangular with a white clip. Two seven seven. So if you if you unplug the connectors and the sensors, the one on the IAC, when you do that, I believe it's going to stay right there. So wherever it was to begin with before you unplugged it, I think it's going to stay right where it's at. So. If you try to pick up the idle or you get it to a point where the IAC is opened, where then you unplug it and it shouldn't move, and then it, that should fix the idle. But here's the thing. If we suspect the IAC is the problem, if it should be open but it's not, we don't know. We'd well, have to pull it off and take a look at it. I meant until I go just go buy a new one and replace it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I misunderstood your question. Take it, take, I could drive the car to AutoZone, get the part, and replace it immediately. Absolutely. Would, I'm just saying, would that keep the car running? Would what keep the car running? If I were to disconnect the sensor right now. Well, that's what I was trying to explain. Probably not. I don't think so. I could be wrong. You can try. I don't think it's going to. The TPS, I, I would think it would run even worse with the TPS unplugged. So what exactly do I do right now? Just go get a new sensor? Well, it's up to you. If you're going to try to fix it yourself? Yes. So again, the very first thing I would recommend that you do is verify there's no vacuum leaks. And if there are no vacuum leaks, then at that point, I would I would try to check that the TPS sensor. Do you have a scan tool that can read live data? Like, your, will your scanner show you live data? No, I can bring it to the shop and have my friend. There you go. Put that on the scanner. With a scanner, have him check the TPS sensor. He can check the fuel trims, and he might even have a smoke machine there. I would do that first. Or if you don't want to go through that hassle, you can just replace it idle air control motor. There's just two, looks like there's two torques that hold it in place and it, it, you could have it off in like minutes and have the other one installed in another minute and you'd be good to go if that takes care of the problem. But I would probably do some checking first because the last thing that I want is you calling me back and saying, I just spent money with you and you told me to replace this and it didn't take care of it. So 
I'm yeah, recommending I'm that you run through person. the tests. I am not that person. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you, man. I talk to a lot of people, and I got to cover my tail. Just all right. So that's I'll try that first. If anything, I'll contact you directly. You got it. Yes, sir. If you have any other questions or if anything comes up, just reply back online. All right. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Good luck. Bye.